Today, my friends, I have for you a Town Hall 11 guide to Queen Charge Mass Miner. We're going to be going over four different variations, going from Wall Breakers to Super Wall Breakers, Jump, and Quad Quake. So that's right guys, we're going to be kicking off this video with the wall breaker version and as I said, there's four different versions. So this is going to be the first one. We've got wall breakers being used. There, there's multiple ways to be able to charge your queen in. This is going to be using wall breakers or super wall breakers, jump and earthquake. So the idea here with the regular wall breakers is you're looking for a nice spot that's by the CC. With any minor attack, whether this be miners or hybrid, or even hogs itself, you're looking for one main thing most of the time, which is going to be the enemy CC. In this case, I believe the enemy CC was an ice golem witch CC, so it's a little bit interesting, but I think what can you guys can still try and do is really, when you're scouting the base, take a look at the CC. Take a look at its radius. Can you lure out the CC, maybe use, bringing a hog or two, or maybe even bringing a balloon and using it there you know it's it's really going to determine on how the base is designed but the biggest thing is dealing with the cc on top of this you're also trying to create some funneling value from the inside of the base thanks to the charge so that's what you're trying to do for the most for the most you know case so the idea here is you want to funnel out your queen on either side. So this means that on this base here, we just want to make sure that we're setting that 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 one side of the funnel using the e-drag, which you guys can see we're bringing in too. Now this is a little bit different. I don't typically see e-drags with queen charge miners. So e-drags are definitely a great option if you notice that buildings are not spaced apart by like two tiles so like right over here where this archer tower is that is an area i wouldn't do so that means that we want our queen to walk here and walk in it's the easiest area to really go ahead and charge into as if we take a look at the other areas yeah we could do here but we're going to be getting hit by this inferno for most of the time and our healers are going to get burned out by it so we've got to make sure that we're finding the easiest area that we can deal with the CC and keep our healers protected right on top of our queen. So with that being said, you guys get the understanding of this strategy. It's really not too bad. Um, well, I mainly talked about the queen charge. When you're using the miners, you need to make sure that you're creating two funnels in order for you to be able to get the value that you need to go in. So basically what I'm saying is, we're, that's why we're starting off with a queen charge. When you get into the miners, it's not really as important. So you'll see that we're just creating the funnel on either side, using the king and a wizard in order to do so. We don't really need to manually pop his ability, but if we do, usually you'll get more value that way. But you'll see from here, we were able to lure out the CC thanks to the king. And you'll see that we have a bunch of archers, a witch, and an ice golem. So this is going to be a not really as threatening CC, definitely not that bad to deal with. So you'll see from here is that we are going to easily deal with it, deal mainly with the witch and the archers since they are going to be there targeting onto the healers. So what we want to do is we want to get them off the healers and make sure that they are going over to that queen as much as possible so she can take them out. What you'll see from here is we have started to carve out an area. So this area is carved out, but now we send in our wall breakers knowing that there aren't any uh, small bombs. Once we get in there, we've got a funnel already set there. So now what we can do is we know that that area has been funneled out. So we can drop an E-drag here. That's going to create a funnel here and the siege burn. After that, we now have easy pathing through the base with the miners as they move their way into the base like this. That's what you're trying to look for. So you'll see that we did pop the Warren ability very early, but that's because we are charging into that Eagle. We're charging into uh, two Wizard Towers and even a Ground Expo. So we know that there's going to be a lot of DPS going in, which is the reason why we want to use that Grand Warren ability early. We are not trying to waste any of our heal spells as early as possible. Now with that being said, if you can actually get value from stuff like healing over hogs and the miners at the same time then that's actually going to provide you more value for your heals than anything else 
you really you really just want to make sure that you are keeping your miners alive for the most part because that is really where it's going to be extremely important for you to sort of understand how to hit with with this sort of strategy it's really not too difficult though as you guys can see it's a very simple strategy really doesn't take too much it's just learning when to charge and all of that so we're going to teach more of that as we get into the next one which is using super wall breakers so we've now got this example here using the super wall breakers now what makes this attack a little bit different well, of course, we really want to take a look at compartments. More specifically, we want to take advantage of something like this. Knowing that this entire area can already be walked, we don't need to go over that section because we can actually clear a lot of those buildings, but we mainly want to take advantage of how this basically dead zone is. Because if we send in our miners like this, they're going to mostly stay in the base at all times. So we've got to make sure that that happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk, do a short walk into a charge here. Notice that we're not going near those single infernos. So if there was a single inferno, maybe right by the eagle, like let's say there, we would probably have to bring a freeze or find another way around it. We still want to deal with the CC, which is the reason why we're doing a charge. This CC is basically unlurable, so we got to make sure that we're charging into the base, super wall breakers this time, and super wall breakers are very easy to use. If you've never sort of boosted up super wall breakers or you don't have access to them then i would definitely say try to upgrade your wall breakers in the lab if they're not level seven and make sure that you are able to actually use those and be able to, th to three star with them i mean it is 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 honestly really easy to use them trust me i've used them as well and they're extremely easy to use so let's watch this example just to show you what happens so we're, the reason that we're using the king first is just to establish the funnel for the queen so that is why we are using the king and a couple wizards there on the opposite side we are using a couple balloons this is going to take out the archer tower over here along with acting as sort of a cocoa loon to soak up any seeking air mines now what we're doing is we're starting our charge one super wall breaker has already broken through that those two compartments there that really gives us access to a lot of really good stuff so as i zoom in here we're just taking our time with this charge we send in one miner just to clear out that building then we send in another one really we didn't need that other super wall breaker it was just going to break the other compartment but the main one was get using that first one and that got us and netted us a lot of value so you'll see that now we're dealing with an Ice Golem and Dragon CC, but that really won't be too difficult. So we can leave our Queen B as we just set the funnel here on this side using the Siege Barrack, and then now we have the Miners and the Warden going in here. So this is going to be the main thing. We're trying to keep our Miners in the base at all times. So this is kind of how the pathing is looking like right now. That is sort of the idea that we're, that's what you're trying to look for. Notice that the Grand Warden hasn't popped his ability. We have three heal spells, I believe. So that is why we're using it a little bit later. You can see that we're going to get a lot of value from the Warden ability, keeping everything alive without having to use a heal. So that's really important. That's the reason why we don't try to do that. Now, Rage spells with this attack is actually very, very easy to use, as Rage is actually a very good synergy with Miners. So if you're considering or even have an extra Rage, use it with your miners they are definitely going to plow through defenses extremely easy so make sure that you're trying to maybe save a rage for them or if you don't which again is fine you're using your heal spells properly you're healing your miners really when they need it the most because that is really going to help your attack moving forward so with that being said, that gives you guys a pretty short explanation and replay of using the Super Wall Breakers. Nothing too different, except it really just takes one Wall Breaker to really break and get you value. So that's going to be the idea there. But we are now going to look at another example, this time not using any Wall Breakers, but just jump. So the next one we're looking at is Queen Charge with a Jump into miners so what is the main thing with jump so of course like with any way that you you've seen so far in breaking in you're trying to get the cc you you guys already know this 
So what else are we trying to do? Well, we're just trying to remember, create the funnel. If you can get the eagle, that's even better as well. Sometimes I've seen where the eagle is really a problem for the miners. So that's definitely something that you guys should try to get rid of, but it's not really necessary. So on this base design here, where is the best area to jump into? Is it right here or is it like right here? That is something that you gotta, gotta consider. Now, a lot of you may be tempted to charge your way into here, which you could, but I feel that, you know, you're not gonna really get as much from there than you would walking your queen here and then jumping into this compartment dealing with all that you still get a multi inferno you still deal with the cc but you get the eagle on top of that so think of other options that are available and what you can actually do with your jump spell so that is going to be the whole idea so what we'll see from here is we're going to walk our queen in and jump right here and this is going to give us a lot of value there so what we can do now is we can use our king over here if we wanted to, but we're probably going to use it in order to funnel the queen, which you saw in the last two examples. And then we're also going to drop in our siege burke, and that's going to move down this way. That means that we can send in our miners almost like this into the base. So that is going to be the whole idea. That's what you're trying to look for. It's just that easy pathing, and you're working for that. So that's what you're going to be trying to do with this one. It's very similar with hybrid. So a lot of these tips that I'm giving you guys right now also work for hybrid. Uh, and honestly, hybrid is absolutely everywhere. Uh, I didn't really want to make another video on hybrid, and I'm not going to. I already did a guide on it. I don't need to make another video. I don't want my content to feel too repetitive for you guys. So that's why I usually try to do these strategies at least once in a while, not every time. So I want to bring some newer stuff, fresh stuff for you guys to sort of learn, maybe reflect on stuff. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments below. Uh, realistically what you guys think of the content I do I don't want it to be too repetitive and I understand that you know sometimes it may feel like it but that's all I can do I can only get so much and like at tunnel 12 it's no different all I can get is hybrid that's the only thing that's working so you'll see from here we're dealing with the enemy CC which again is a dragon and ice golem CC but you can see that where the jump is actually netting you a lot more value than you would like with a uh, with something like wall breakers so the that jump spell there allows us to basically clear this side here so what we're doing now is we are going to be able to use our siege barrack and move down this way with the rest of our funnel so you'll see right here we're gonna hold off but now the queen has already been guaranteed the value that she needs so now what we can do is we can stay mainly paying attention on waiting for that siege bark to be deployed like we see here and we're actually using the king there so the idea is if you don't have access to siege barracks which i know some of you guys don't try to use the king there to create the other side of the funnel you really don't need the siege bark too often so if you want to bring something like uh, a stone summer with balloons you can or if you just want to use a regular cc with hogs in them you can definitely do that as well so as you can see from here is that even though the wizards do help from that siege barrack, you can still do a lot with either bringing in a king or bringing in a P.E.K.K.A. as well. That could really still offer you guys the same thing. Now, I really don't need to say too much about the miners. And I don't want to talk too much to where you guys are sort of confused about what I'm trying to talk about. You already know about the miners and the heal spells. I don't really need to go over that. It already gives you guys a good example here, even using the ability, not the best one, but still showing you guys realistically what i try to do is i try to do my best in terms of the commentary teaching you guys tips and tricks but then also as we look at these i kind of want to explain what is going down and what are the best tips that you guys can pull up from these type of replays other than that the main part i really want to you guys to understand is the different ways of charging in this is the reason why i really wanted to make this video i saw a bunch of them and i was like do you know what we're doing this video and I hope that it's not like, oh great, it's another queen charge minor strategy, but I wanted to put a little bit more flavor into this by showing you guys four unique variations of this. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on into another example using Quad Quake this time. 
So in this last example here, we're looking at this strategy with a quad quake. This is actually one that I have never seen before. I never thought that you could even ever do a queen charge miners with a quad quake. I just thought it was kind of like a waste of spells unless, you know, you were getting a ton of value, which was the main thing. So the idea here is, again, we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of the base. We are going to be charging our way into here. Again, we're trying to deal with the CC, which it may look pretty far, but if we use a quad quake, we're already opening ourselves into the eagle compartment. So that's the idea, and that is what the attacker was looking for. So what they wanted to do was in order to charge their way into the base, they had to use a quad quake. They saw value that was there, and that's why they're using it. Quad quake really opens up a base a lot more, only if that there's a lot of value that you can do with a charge. So that kind of gives you guys the idea of realistically when to use a charge with this strategy. Other than that, I can't really say too much other than that. I mean, this strategy is still, it kind of blows my mind still that you can still do quad quake with this, but I shouldn't be too surprised. But as we can see from here, is that what we're trying to take a look at is we're allowing our queen to charge in. Notice that we don't even have any funneling troops other than the siege barrack. We just have the king, we have the, well, the king on the other side, but we, all we have is a baby dragon, healers, and miners in our army composition. Only three things. And that is really how simple this is. So you'll see from here is that even though we're not getting into the eagle compartment, we've got access to it. And on top of that, we also have access to the enemy CC, which it is a dragon and balloon CC. We're going to deal with the, with the queen very easily. So notice how we're just getting a lot of value. We already have dealt with that side. So we're going to create the funnel here, down here with the, with the siege barrack. We've got the queen charging her way in. And now we can actually send in the miners in the padding like this. That is what we're looking for. So that kind of gives you guys the idea of this. Basically using those miners, using the quad quake to open up the base more and give our queen more access to the base. And on top of this, we're able to use our miners and go through the entire rest of the bottom section of the base. You'll see right there, it wasn't a full giant, a uh, double giant bomb, but it kind of was in a way. But you'll see from here that we're just sending in our miners straight in like this. And that is exactly what we're just trying to make sure that we're focusing in our, on our miners. Make sure that they're being healed up, which we really don't need to heal them up at the moment since, well, I mean, there really isn't too much damage down there. And you guys can see there's only like Expos, Wizard Towers, Multi Inferno. Really nothing too bad for the for the miners to get through. So it's really just taking their time and getting through that section. But other than that, this gives you guys the idea of how you guys can use miners. A full breakdown in some capacity, giving you guys a full sort of explanation. It's a really simple strategy. If you guys like farming with miners, this is actually another fun option because you're not just farming with them, you're learning a war strategy too. So definitely, there's a lot of things to take away from this video, but I hope it was helpful. I hope that you guys learned something from it, and hopefully you guys will share it with your clanmates if they want to become better attackers, if they want to improve their game in war, and maybe even farming in tune in some capacity, or even legends in some capacity, then definitely share this video with them. Let them know that, you know, I do a bunch of this content, so definitely let them know by just sharing the video, it definitely would mean a lot to me. But if you guys are new here on the channel, remember to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed and maybe even learned something. Also, feel free to go ahead and subs hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells to join the Corrupt Fam to never miss an upload. Also, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, or even subscribe to me on there. As well as, don't forget to join my community Discord. All four links are in the description. Along down there is going to be the Discord servers to all the clans I'm covering in the game. Feel free to go ahead and join any of them if you have what it takes to join a clan where they do League Wars like CWL, MLCW, stuff like that. Also, I have merch. So don't forget to check out the Playmaker Gaming uh, link in the description of this video in order to sort of check it out, see if you like anything there. I have like stuff that range from jerseys to towels and masks. Feel free to definitely see what you like there. And if you guys want to support me even further, 
feel free to sort of hit that join button to join as a channel member on the channel. But with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Corrupt, signing out.